What is a wave? What is a particle? We have a very intuitive understanding of these two concepts. <clears throat> when we think of waves, we think of water waves. You know, they're spread out, disturbances in a medium. When we think of a particle, we think of electrons, atoms, molecules, things that you and I are made of and everything around us. They're localized objects. So why are they important and how are they related? Another question. How can we know something is a wave? By its behavior? Well, one way we scientists try to characterize waves is we send it through a couple of slits. And on the other end, we find an interesting intensity pattern. Waves superimpose. They interfere with each other. They can cancel or add and create this high and low intensity pattern. If I throw some balls through a slit, we know what's going to happen. They just go straight through. They don't add up. They don't subtract. It turns out, early, in the early 20th century, scientists trying to understand the fundamental character of nature, came across some weird and interesting properties. So we look at electrons, for example. When they fired electrons through a slit, they found they behaved quite oddly. Under certain circumstances, they would behave as normal, as we'd expect, like particles, but change the circumstances slightly. And they started to behave like waves. They started to behave like waves. And they created a similar pattern that we'd expect for waves to them. There'd be parts where we find lots of electrons, parts where we find very little. In essence, what we're doing in our lab is trying to push the boundaries of this um, concept, this phenomenon that we've observed. In the past few decades, we've seen molecules to also exhibit a similar behavior this wave-particle duality, or also known as quantum superposition. What we're doing is we're going to take a nanoparticle in a vacuum chamber, trap it using light, and drop it. Drop it onto um, some gratings made of light. Lots and lots of slits. And on the other end, we hope, we, well, we don't know, um, try to see if we see a sim similar pattern. And if they behave as waves, we would observe them to have we would find their positions to be of high intensity and low intensities. So in essence, in our lab, we are testing the very fabric of our reality. 